Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Big thank you to all of the new subscribers. And for anybody who doesn't know, my name is Bruce Van Life Jr. And I live in this Chevy Express 2500 that I bought for $1,000. And yes, buying a van that cheap comes with a lot of surprise repairs and maintenance. But with some elbow grease and never giving up, this vehicle is where I call home. And along this journey of living full time in a van in Canada, and surviving some absolutely brutal winters, we make some pretty amazing friends and memories along the way. Wouldn't have been able to survive without y'all. <laughs> so come join the adventures as I bring you all along for a ride through my life. From all the good times, to all the bad times, and every adventure in between. On this journey, you never know what could happen next. So, let's get to it. Everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm here doing some de more kind of demo work a little more delicate a lot of its inside The outside was already done when I got here But uh, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour on uh, What I'll be doing today and then we'll cut straight to the end of the day and see what we can get into for the Americans Independence Day We'll see you guys in a little bit Up out of the basement, down to the street. You ever hear of going uphill both ways? That's what I'm doing today. So, on top of pulling out wood and drywall, we're using garbage pails, filling them up with all the loose stuff, and dumping them in the bin as well. It's a little bit of a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. So, we're going to get back at it, and I'll see you guys later on this evening. Who says you need two hands to do a job? All right, you guys, we're all done here for the day. I've had a couple more little gems, four nice little pieces of wood. I'm planning on building a roof rack for the van that fully extends the whole length. And uh, I've been slowly grabbing a few pieces. I got two nice pieces of two by four on the roof now. I'm gonna get all cleaned up and uh, head down to see the guys and see what happens today. See you guys in a few minutes. Oh, I feel so much better. Just had a quick wet wipe shower and uh, figured I'd throw on this shirt for the Americans Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, all you guys over there. And uh, for me, I'm gonna hit the road and go catch up with the guys. So let's go see what, what let's go see what they're up to.
Well, it rained on us for a little bit, but it seems to have cleared up. Hopefully it stays like that for the rest of the day. So I still got one, maybe three more speakers to install on the van. I got one just installed before it rained, and I'll show you guys that once it's all, once it's all done, then I'll reveal it to you guys. But until then, I'm gonna hang here with Aaron, and then uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So this guy is after getting like seven chairs now, and he's not gonna be happy until he gets the right one. So now he's seen someone with a better chair than him, and he went and got it. Oh, it's looking good so far. A little more setup though. I think the no armrest is gonna get him after a while though. Well, you're sitting, you're close enough to the ground. Will the setup break him though? This is the question. can see the frustration blooming. <laughs> I'd say he's about two minutes away from returning. It's worth the wait, folks. <laughs> it's worth the wait, folks. <laughs> not bad, not bad, man. Dog right here, and a dog right here. Next to the river, living in a van. Do it with the old, and with the new. Just gonna require some modifications. It was actually so much bigger than the stock one that I had to cut and screw it to the actual door panel that you see me working at now eventually i'll get a different door panel to make it all fit but for right now it'll work and for what's in the back of the van i needed this for the extra sound up front this is where it starts now we clean them up It's because I know the measurements from the other one. I'm so free to cut this guy. Kinda. Still gonna mess it up. That's not smoke burning, that's horsepower.
friendly neighborhood, Corey. Hi, Corey. Hello. Hello to all of you in YouTube land. How are you doing today? all the jankiness. <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> there we go. What do you mean? Now she's installed. What's installed? The Kimwood speaker. Now we're gonna go underneath and I'll show you guys how to hook it up. Ready? Go. So you're gonna take this cord, and I used the factory cord and just hooked it to the speaker. So then we can use the factory wiring clip right here. And then whenever I get a chance to remove and replace this door panel, just simple clip away instead of undoing any kind of wiring. So yeah, now we're gonna drop it down and uh, screw it back on. Make sure you always use right size screws in all your builds. Right size screws, eh? Is that Chevy OEM? That's Chevy OEM AC Delco wood screws, that is. They don't make them like that anymore. That's antique stuff, see? You youngsters would know nothing about that. <laughs> Just like factory does. A little bit of gray paint on that, no one even knows. Chevy didn't have the right color, that's all. Cool. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use some tin tape and go around the top of it because it doesn't exactly seal because it's a little. It's not exactly factory, right? So, or if she's not factory, we're gonna have to seal it off because if rain tries to come in, I don't wanna try and get behind the speaker. So, I do the same with the driver's side. And this is the stuff I'll be using. First, we're gonna clean this rotten door. So, Mr. Blur, Matt, <laughs> uh, suggested that I should let my stereo run and walk away from it and just see how far you can get away from it before you stop hearing it and uh so far i am pretty impressed now mind you it's only half hooked up there's only one subwoofer running right now and even the speakers that are hooked up are only running at half capacity because they're going to be running on their own amplifier so there's going to be a thousand watt amp for each sub and then there's going to be a thousand watt amp to power the speakers. So yeah, this is uh, this is going to be quite the little boombox we got here. <laughs> oh, so it should be pretty fun. I'm pretty impressed with even just half of it because uh, yeah, she pounds, boys. Quite fun. Hey everybody. So it's the next day. Uh, a little later after I was done those speakers, I ended up getting called off to do a few things. And again today, I also got called off to do a few things. So I'm actually gonna end this video off here and we'll get more into the speakers in the van and all of that stuff in the next video where we'll do like a full recap of it because there's still a few things that need to be done. But for right now, I'm gonna end this video off here. I appreciate you guys all hanging in through here. Hate to leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger, but it'll be worth it. So remember, never give up on living life because life is the most precious thing we have. I'll see you all in the next one.